Hey, it's Aaron the Home for MobileReviews8.ca and today we are going to do a review of the Draco aluminum bumper for the iPhone 6. This is an incredibly fancy stylish iPhone case but in terms of protection that's not going to offer a whole lot. The design of this case is amazing. I initially wasn't very impressed at first, but after using the case for a while, I'm very, very impressed. Access to your iPhone works quite well despite being shaped quite differently when compared to other iPhone cases. Draco was awesome enough to send us the gold version, and subsequently with the gold iPhone, the case looks really, really nice. Based on our time with this case, we gave it a score of 4.1 A's out of 5 when compared to other slim cases. There is a small caveat to the score, which I will elaborate in a bit. If you are looking for similar cases that are metallic, check out the Spiga Neo Hybrid Metal, which scores just a tad higher at 4.2 A's out of 5. If you'd rather read the rest of this review, check out our website for the review table. If you want to see how this case compares against other cases, check out our comparison tool. Real usage. Real reviews. Mobile reviews, eh? .ca. Now, at Mobile Reviews A, eh, we base everything on actual usage and we try to leave out most of the fluff. Actually, we don't try to do any fluff at all. We don't try to suck up to any of the case manufacturers because, well, kind of what's the point? For the more functional cases, we'll do pretty awful things to them. For cases that are just pretty and slim, we'll compare them against other pretty and slim cases. And that's probably the caveat because cases like this, like the Draco Aluminum Bumper, they're not meant to really protect your iPhone from drops. They're meant to make your iPhone look really, really awesome. And that's the small cave in. In terms of design, this case will not add much in terms of thickness, but will add a bit of bulk, which isn't too noticeable as the edge of the case is much thinner than the actual iPhone, so you really don't notice the extra bulk. We do have to say this is one of the thinnest iPhone cases that we've reviewed, which is a good and a bad thing. Now at the beginning of the video, I mentioned that I wasn't too impressed with the case as the first thing I noticed after taking it out of the box was that the mute button was attached to the case via a piece of tape. Nothing screams like a $100 iPhone case or quality like a nice piece of office tape to keep everything together. I do have to say that the mute switch is actually quite solid after you install your iPhone in it. Overall, because it's a solid piece of aluminum, the uh, iPhone inside the Draco aluminum bumper feels incredibly solid. In terms of installation, this is the first case that we had to install with a pair of screws. We did find that in order to get the two pieces of the case to line up, we'd pre-install the screws, make minor adjustments to uh, make sure that the pieces are flush, and then you tighten the screws. Now this case is made from aluminum, so it will scratch from general usage, but not excessively. This case went through about two weeks worth of use. It's got some minor scratching, but it's not too noticeable. The case edge is far enough away from the touchable area that you can install third-party screen protectors, but since the case isn't thicker than the iPhone, there is a good chance that the screen protector is going to be the part of the iPhone that actually makes contact with the flat surface. In terms of protection, this case will offer very little as it's definitely not drop rated. Your iPhone isn't protected from multiple layers and the edges of the case, as we just mentioned, are almost non-existent. With all that being said, this isn't meant to be a protective case, it's meant to be a fancy case. And if you do drop it, the aluminum bumper is probably going to protect your iPhone's corners. One of the things that really bothers me about this case in terms of protection is that there's almost no additional protection for your iPhone's camera. The back of the case doesn't extend past the camera, so it's still kind of exposed. Now, I wouldn't be too concerned about scratching the lens as it's made from sapphire, which is incredibly hard, but it's not shatterproof, so in the odd case that you do drop it on the camera part, you might crack the sapphire lens. In terms of accessing your iPhone, I am incredibly impressed with the buttons on the aluminum bumper by Draco Design. They don't make it better, but they do make it different, which is just pretty awesome. The power button is a slim thing on the side of the case that follows the design of the edge of the case, which is really, really nice, and the volume buttons are larger, and again, they just feel incredibly awesome. The taped on mute switch works actually quite well, given the fact that it's taped on. Access to your iPhone's hardware ports is simple and will accommodate larger than average lightning port cables, but only slightly larger headphone jacks. In terms of signal loss, we didn't notice any change in our cellular signal strength with a Draco aluminum bumper installed on our iPhone 6. Getting to your iPhone screen is a breeze as there isn't anything that gets in the way of touching your screen. The last thing I do have to mention about this case, and it's probably going to be a deal breaker if you're looking for a fancy case that's affordable. This case is not that affordable. This is a hundred dollar case. <laughs> um, so it's pretty expensive given that it doesn't offer a lot of protection, but man, does it look, make your iPhone look incredibly fancy. So if you're kind of balancing out those two things, I don't usually review cases that are this fancy, but I really have taken to the Draco aluminum bumper for the iPhone 6. If I was in my younger years and there were iPhones in my younger years um, and I was trying to impress a girl or I had a lot of money to spend, I'd definitely get this case. So that's all I got for the Drake aluminum bumper. Oh, I shouldn't really not be tossing it like that since it's not going to protect much. Um, 
<laughs> if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I'd be more than happy to answer them. You can find us on Google Plus, Twitter, as well as Facebook. I am Aaron the Ho. Thank you for watching, and that's all I got for this video. Overall, the build quality of the case, along with the materials, makes... Hey, come here. Come here. Sit. Stay. Stay. <sighs>